Hey fans, welcome to the season kickoff for Sport Mod action on the Trigger King 2024 Summer Series. It's our 10th anniversary. It's a big, exciting season. We've got a lot of great things coming, some new developments, taking a look at qualifying results, some of the top names at the top, some of those classics, Barefoot, Taurus, and Bigfoot leading the pack in qualifying results. We'll see if that translates into the results in the bracket as we kick off the season. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Our first pair out will be number 16 and number 17, Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum and CRC Max, Michael Spurlock. Tricky track with the tricky first corner. Both trucks a little bit hung up. Watching at home it may take you a second to get acclimated with the track here. Maybe the same thing for the drivers, but right now Aquabats taking the win in round one as that truck returns to the tour. The number eight and 25 matchup, Zombie Loco, driven by Chris Hackinson and Gravedigger. Atkinson takes the win in El Toro Loco Zombie. Rotten Apple 2 and Equalizer. Doug Welker and Chris Parrish. Oh, and Equalizer is over on that tricky first corner. As long as he goes mistake free, Welker will take an easy win into round number two. number 13 orange fury 2 chris blank with the orange grove fleet and number 20 big a's wrecking andy salerno salerno was new to trigger king in 2023 and grew a lot over the season he's become a real challenger and he's neck and neck with blank It got close at the end there as Blank got squirrely in the Orange Fury truck. Not quite complete. You see no graphics on it right now, but it takes the victory as Salerno was closing the gap. Blank right back up on the line in Orange Thunder 2. Another brand new body. The graphics not quite ready. Facing off against Chain Reaction, Iron Aaron Janes. James with a comfortable lead and he'll win his round one matchup. Back on the series, King Kong, Christopher Lane and Awesome Kong, Troy Haas, it's a Kong battle. This would have been a wild matchup back in the day with the one to one scale monster trucks. Is it going to live up to reputation here? Looks like Kong's going to win it. Haas and Awesome got a little lost on the track, it looks like. Sudden impact. Fred Kors and Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock. Two newer drivers on the TK scene. Spurlock we've seen before running Pro Mod only, and he's expanded his lineup. JB Scale Graphics, driven by Chris Lane and Batman, Troy Haas. Batman, an awesome new piece from Troy. Brand new truck, brand new body. But right now, Chris Lane flexing some muscle in the near lane in JB Scale Graphics. Our final pair in round one, number 11, Roadhog, and number 22, TMNT, the Ninja Turtle breaking loose. Aaron James looking to put him back in the sewer and looking good so far, but it's tight coming into the final straightaway. 
but Roadhog claims the victory, powering to the finish line. Round number two, action. Our number one qualifier making an appearance, Xbox Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, our defending champion. And number 16 qualifier, Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum. Chandler looking smooth and consistent, showing why he's number one qualifier, though not laying down the fastest paths. It's probably the smoothest pass we've seen so far. This could be a really good matchup. El Toro Loco Zombie, Chris Hackinson, and Rotten Apple 2, Doug Welker. Hackinson burst onto the scene in 2023. Welker, one of the originators of the series. Who's going to take the win? Atkinson out in the lead. He's built some great equipment. He's gotten so competitive. Hackinson takes the win in El Toro. Bigfoot destination, Bob C. Chandler, our number four qualifier, and Orange Fury 2, the number 13, Chris Blank. Neck and neck. Looking good, heading through the center section as Chandler starts to stretch a lead out. Blank misses the first obstacle on the final straightaway and Destination crawls to victory safely and soundly. Pink Toro Loco, Chris Hackinson, we call him Pinkalicious, and Chain Reaction, Iron Aaron James. Jane's in trouble in that first turn. Hackinson in trouble in the third turn. Or second turn, depending on how you look at it. But Hackinson holds the lead safely after a little hang up and wins, moving to round three. All right, first time we've seen Taurus, Jeremy Mark, the number two qualifier against King Kong, Chris Lane. Chris looked pretty good earlier, and Jeremy with trouble in the first corner. He's got to make up some ground. It's tightened back up. Two very different approaches heading into the final corner. Oh, and Taurus upset as Kong takes the win. Right back up on the line, Jeremy Mark and Buffalo Tremor and Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock. Tremor, a new body for 2024. Great looking truck. The 2005 Chevy body from J Concepts, I believe. It's close, oh no! Two races in a row, Mark goes down on the final straightaway, giving the win to the guy that's new to sport mod, Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock. Well done, sir. Barefoot Racer, the number three qualifier, and JB Scale Graphics, Chris Lane. We saw Lane beat up on the competition earlier in round number one with this truck. Will it happen in round two? Barefoot running the J-Concept Snoop Nose body, new body for late 2023, running into 2024. Taking the win and moving into round number three. The other rotten truck, Rotten Apple. The number six qualifier against Roadhog, Aaron Janes. That first turn is proving to be ultra tricky and a key point on the track. If you can get around that corner, it could set you up for the win as you hold the other driver on your hip the rest of the race. But this surface is tricky here at JB Scale Dreamfields Raceway. This is a new surface and it is very marbly out there. It is very slick. As we move into round number three, we'll see who can master this tricky track. Xbox Bigfoot, number one, and number eight, El Toro Loco Zombie, Chris Hackinson. Atkinson jumps out to a quick lead. J 
just like round two, right through the center section, Chandler keeps it smooth, makes up time, and stretches a lead, taking the win, moving to the final four. Same two drivers right back up on the line, swapping trucks. Number four and number five, Destination Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, and Pinkalicious, Chris Hackinson. Very similar to the first start, and very similar to the second section, as Hackinson has issues down the final straightaway, knowing he was behind, trying to chase down the destination truck. King Kong and Iron Outlaw. Lane overshoots the first turn, giving a little bit of a lead to Spurlock. Can King Kong make up the distance? It's not looking like it at this point. Spurlock, smooth and consistent, taking the win. Barefoot Racer and Rotten Apple, 3-6. This could be a great race. These two have had some outstanding matchups over the years. We'll see who can take the measure on this tricky track. Barefoot very wide in the second turn, looking to make up ground. Oh no, mechanical issues for Welker in the far lane. The apple goes sour and Barefoot takes the win moving into the final four with a gimme. Semi-final action, right back up on the line, Barefoot Racer and Iron Outlaw. Barefoot with a little bit of a jump, a little awkward over that second obstacle. Spurlock makes up ground, and Barefoot in all kinds of trouble. With an awesome performance, Spurlock, the newcomer, goes to his first final round ever at Trigger King. In our other semifinal matchup, Bob C. Chandler's trucks face off, and Xbox Bigfoot, the number one qualifier, moves on, setting up the finals. Number one Bigfoot, Xbox, and Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock. The veteran and the newcomer. Will Spurlock take his right, first bracket Driver victory ready. in Trigger King? Or will Chandler rack up yet another win? Spurlock smooth, off to the lead. Head leading through the center section where Chandler usually makes up ground. A huge leap down the back straightaway. Chandler closes the gap and then extends the lead on the final straightaway. Chandler, once again in the Bigfoot Xbox, takes the bracket victory. Well, much like last year, Chandler's starting strong he ended strong last year. We'll see if that sets the momentum for 2024. As we take a look at our initial points through the first bracket, we've got more action coming in bracket two. So make sure you stay tuned. We thank you for joining us. We thank all of our sponsors that support Trigger King and all the viewers. We'll catch you next time.